10. Lavender Harvester Known for its vibrant purple, pleasant aroma, and health benefits, lavender is a popular commodity. It has countless uses, including aromatherapy, skin, and hair care. It's also a natural remedy for insomnia, and it's simply just nice to look at. The lavender industry has been around for hundreds of years, and farmers have had to come up with ways to harvest growing quantities in less time in order to keep up with all the demand. Some small producers still reap lavender by hand, while others use a small cart called a harvest buggy. But these methods won't cut it for someone who wants to take their lavender farming business to the next level. For that, there are specialized industrial machines that quickly and efficiently collect the fragile flowers without destroying them. Lavender harvesters contain an elaborate combination of parts that safely lift and cut plants when they're ready for collection. The machine's also ideal for harvesting chamomile and other medicinal herbs. 9. Olive Harvester The olive industry sprang out of southern Europe's Mediterranean region. These countries, which include modern-day Spain, Italy, Morocco, Turkey, and Greece, are now the world's biggest producers. In the last few centuries, oil farming spread to other parts of the world as well, including California and South America. The majority of olives grown throughout the world are used for making oil. Some of the smaller producers still pick their olives by hand out of tradition. To speed up the process a little, they sometimes use what's called an electric cone or a hand-operated shaking machine. But even with the help of a small device, picking olives by hand is labor-intensive and takes up a lot of time. Owners of large olive farms often rely on an oil harvesting machine, which is equipped with mechanical arms that grab and shake trees at a high frequency. Another part of the machine collects the olives after they've fallen. Some olive harvesting machines are able to do both of these tasks simultaneously, but they only work on young trees and flat land. Collecting olives from older trees or on less flat terrain typically requires the use of a device called a log shaker. According to a Sicily-based olive farm company called Il Cercolo, harvesting olives by hand is the best way to ensure the production of quality oil because it helps single out olives that are ripe for picking. Mechanical collection is a more forceful process, often causing olives to fall to the ground and break apart, which speeds up fermentation. But it's much cheaper than picking by hand, since it saves time, maximizes quantity, and gets the job done with less work. 8. The world's biggest hay baler Generally speaking, there are two different types of balers used to collect hay. Cylindrical machines, which make round bales, and rectangular machines, which pump out the more common square bales. Square bales are easier and safer to stack and move, and they maximize space usage inside barns. Round bales are more weather-resistant and can be left to the mercy of the elements for longer periods. An average round bale of hay measures 5 by 6 feet and weighs about 1,500 pounds. Its dimensions and weight vary based on whether it's a hardcore or softcore bale, which usually refers to how tightly packed the hay is. As the baler picks the hay up from the field and feeds it to the bale chamber, the hay rolls into a big round bale. In addition to harvesting hay, these machines can be used for collecting other crops like cotton, flax straw, salt marsh hay, and more. In 2019, Vogel Engineering announced the exciting debut of the world's biggest hay baler. Designed by TJ Steele of Favor 5 Ag Innovations, the cylindrical baling machine carried out an out-of-season test baling session during a snowy day. According to the project's team members, the baler still managed to produce a 9x9-foot bale of hay weighing 5,600 pounds. Since the machine's early development, its designers have been working to improve on its design capabilities. 7. In-Row Weeder If you've ever grown a small garden, then you probably have a bit of experience weeding plants. And for a tiny plant, it's not actually that much work to keep up with. But of course, the bigger the garden, the more work it is to pick weeds, and at some point it becomes unrealistic to try and do it by hand. Luckily, modern technology makes it possible to weed entire fields of crops with pinpoint accuracy, ensuring that the weed is yanked while the plant remains unharmed. One of the most advanced machines for getting this job done is the in-row weeder, 
which utilizes video image analysis techniques to find and safely remove weeds. The weeder was originally built for use with transplanted crops like lettuce, cabbage, and celery, but it can be used with almost all crops that are planted and spaced out in a normal fashion. According to the company that makes the machine, it removes weeds with an accuracy rate of 8 millimeters away from the plant stem. The in-row weeder is an expensive piece of equipment though, with prices for a new or slightly used machine reaching into the $70,000 and up range. But it pays for itself before long, by saving on the cost and time of manual labor, with no major sacrifices when it comes to the quality of harvested plants. 6. Class Cougar Designed and built by a German farm machine manufacturer named Klaas, the Kuka mower officially made its debut back in 2003 at the Agritechnica convention in Germany. With a maximum cutting width of 46 feet, it's considered one of the world's largest self-propelling mowers. During the convention, the Kuga even won the Machine of the Year award. The machine was built for retail sale between 2005 and 2009. Only about 100 were ever completed, making it a rare piece of equipment. Since production of the Kuka was suspended, plenty of manufacturers have had a chance to try beating its record for the largest self-propelled mower. But nobody's taken up the title, leaving the Kuga in the number one position for now. The next biggest machine is the Krone Big M450, which has a mowing width of 32.6 feet. Would you try to mow a lawn with the class Kuga? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. 5. Class Disco 1100RC As of August 2021, the Class Disco 110RC was the largest tractor-mounted mower conditioner on the agricultural market. That same month, its company announced that it had set the new world record for a mount mode within 8 hours. The blade was mounted onto a Class Axion 870 tractor, which is an impressive piece of equipment in and of itself. It was designed with maximum comfort and fuel efficiency in mind. Over the 8-hour window for the new record, the driver of the machine mowed 348.7 acres of grass. In a statement announcing the achievement, the company said that the record was not achieved without tremendous effort. The starting time was delayed for two hours due to rain, and the driver ended up stopping twice to make sure he didn't damage a mower blade after hitting a chunk of concrete. In hopes of making the record official, the company mailed their claims and all of the evidence to the Guinness Book of World Records Committee for confirmation. 4. Case IH Steiger Quadtrack 620 At first, the Case IH Quadtrack 620 looks like an oversized military vehicle or some type of construction equipment. With an industry-leading 680-horsepower engine, it's one of the world's most powerful tractors. It's also very heavy, weighing it at almost 58,900 pounds. And if you haven't already noticed, it has four tracks instead of wheels. According to the Irish Farmer's Journal, the tracks spread the tractor's weight over a larger area than tires, giving it the advantage of a reduced footprint. In addition to its strength, the Steiger Quadrax 620 meets rigorous fuel emission standards, minimizing pollution while saving about $1,000 in fuel costs every year. It also reaches speeds up to 25 miles per hour. Knowing how backbreaking farm work can be, the machine's designers have put a major emphasis on comfort. Newer Steiger Series tractors are equipped with a swiveling leather seat that can be heated, and it also has a cooling mechanism. The Quadrang 620 costs anywhere from $279,000 for a used model to $619,000 for newer versions. 3. Crone Big X1180 A forage harvester is a large farm machine that harvests forage plants in order to make silage, which is grass, corn, or hay that's been chomped into smaller pieces for silo storage. After that, it's fermented to make feed for livestock animals. There are many different types of forage harvesters. Some are separate components that are simply attached to tractors, while others are entire vehicles of their own. If you've ever driven past a farm and seen what looks like hay spewing out the back of a machine, 
you are most likely seeing a forage harvester, or a chopper for short. The Crone Big X1180 claims to be the world's most powerful machine of its kind. Launched back in 2018, it's equipped with a powerful yet low-emission 12-cylinder engine with a maximum horsepower of 1,156. Most of the time, bulky machines are difficult and inconvenient to handle. But the Big X1180 was designed with maneuverability and comfort put first, and the overall goal of making the job as easy as possible without sacrificing on quality. The Forage Harvester also boasts a high output and mechanical reliability, since having a machine break down severely hampers a day's work. 2. Grim Varitron 470 Potato Harvester A potato harvester is almost exactly what it sounds like, a machine that harvests potatoes. Generally speaking, these machines collect two to four rows of spuds at a time. There are two main types of harvester, a potato spinner which is operated manually and a machine which does the heavy lifting. Potato spinners are falling out of use nowadays, mainly because they're obsolete and most large-scale harvesting is done using machines. In what may classify as the strangest looking vehicle in this video, the Grim Varitron 470 is a self-propelled four-row potato harvester. It's designed to separate taters from the soil on its own, reducing the amount of work that needs to be done by hand. This strange-looking piece of equipment is more advanced than the initial two-row harvesters that we use years ago. While many farmers once owned two harvesters that could collect two rows of potatoes each, the Varitron 470 does the same amount of work by itself, more efficiently too. Weighing about 75,000 pounds fully loaded, it's a huge piece of equipment. The machine can measure as much as 51.2 feet long, 12.7 feet wide, and 13 feet high. It's not the world's biggest harvester, but it was until that title was taken by Grimm's 4-row Ventor 4150 in 2017. 1. World's Biggest Combine Harvester A combine harvester, or a combine for short, is a machine designed for harvesting grain crops like wheat, rice, oats, rye, barley, corn, sorghum, soybeans, flax, and more. Historically speaking, this machine was a major game-changer. It does the same amount of work that used to require multiple people at a time, and it's only continued to make life easier for farms as advancements continue to be made. Modern versions of the combine are capable of operating with speed and efficiency that farmers once thought were unthinkable. But the development of the combine didn't come without any problems. One of the biggest ongoing issues with these machines is the tendency for their engines to catch on fire. The mechanisms behind these fires are not fully understood yet, but it's believed that static electricity may be a major factor. It's hard to appreciate just how large some combines are without seeing one for yourself. In 2020, the class Lexian A900 took first place as the world's largest combine harvester. It's equipped with a 4,755-gallon grain tank that's capable of emptying in 100 seconds or less. The Lexian 8900 is a top pick among farmers who have large crops to harvest and need to get it done quickly. During the same year, John Deere debuted its X9 Combine Harvester, which is the biggest machine of its kind made by the company. It has a 45% higher harvesting capacity than the average combine while using 20% less fuel. The largest combine harvester of all time, though, is the Tribine T1000. In addition to having the ability to run for 24 hours straight, it weighs 23 tons and is capable of carrying its own weight in grain. This groundbreaking piece of machinery was created by a 76-year-old businessman from Indiana named Ben Dillon, who took some unconventional approaches after the vehicle class remained largely unchanged since World War II. The Tribine T-1000 was first introduced to the world not long ago in 2016. In the years since, thousands of hours of work have gone into improving its design. Today, the machine is now proudly equipped with the world's largest grain bin. Thanks for watching. Would you rather try to harvest produce the old-fashioned way at an olive farm in the Mediterranean, where the work is intense but the scenery is beautiful, or get a chance to drive one of the gargantuan machines we talked about on today's list? 
let us know in the comments down below.